Mr. Intrusionist in the chat said, Sebastian wasn't expecting this cube when he said he can solve a cube in 27 seconds. So. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Definitely uh, different kind of cube there. Oh, Absolutely. and Sebastian looked like he backtracked and then kind of followed right in step. Very interesting as well. Wow, this is so cool to see how these guys are kind of thinking through this thing. This is a 3D model representing the challenge that we're going to have the guys go through today in today's CAD vs. CAD tournament highlight. This model is called the One Line Cube, and I'm excited to announce that we've taken some of the models from our semifinals and finals of this tournament, and we've posted them here at TwoTallToby.com. So if you are interested in challenging yourself to think through this model or some of the other models from the tournament, be sure to visit us and sign up for an account at TwoTallToby.com. I think this one was a lot of fun to watch. I think you're going to enjoy seeing our runners think through this model and be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this battle and what you think about this model. Sahil in the chat, Salil in the chat saying, what is the wheel? The wheel is how we randomize the challenges for our runners. And so I'm going to give this thing a shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shout out to Solid Box for sponsoring the wheel. Not only do they create outstanding hardware for 3D CAD users, but they also make a fantastic wheel of fate. Here we go, guys. Atze says, when Sebastian's brain unfroze, it got into action fresh and cool. Yeah, that was a really, really fun match to watch. Oh, boy, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go back in time a little bit, back to model number nine. That means this one must be easier, right? Totally. Maybe. Totally. <laughs> All right, guys. Model number nine. So, guys, we had that first battle between Sebastian and Gray, and it did not disappoint. We've got our number two seed and our number three seed going up against one another. Let's get into this next battle. If Sebastian wins this, he is going to move on to the finals. If Gray wins this, then we are going to go to a third battle. And I think everybody's hoping that we get to see a third battle from this. So good luck to both of our runners. Here we go, guys. This next CAD vs. CAD battle between Sebastian from Germany, our number three seed using Katia, and Gray from Russia, our number two seed using SolidWorks, begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XXX.X grams? The tolerance is plus or minus 0.2 grams. This is in millimeters and it's made from 1060 aluminum. It's almost like a corporate logo of sorts. We call this the one line cube and the entire line is made from 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter extrusion. Here we go, guys. CAD versus CAD battle. Our number three and our number two seed. It's an awesome model. It looks yeah. so easy. But if you try this to is model exactly it, how I thought it was going to run too. When I saw this today, I was like, "Yeah, they're going to sit and think for a bit because you have to, right?" There's, <laughs> there's definitely some things. I think the way I would approach it, but we'll see how these guys yes. they handle it today. Yes, this is one where you know we, we there's a lot of ways you could approach this, but a lot of them are going to end up with a lot of complex geometry. This is not going to be easy. That's for mm -hmm. sure. I think this one throws away a lot of our tricks too. There's some things that we've we've definitely perfected in the community that like, oh, I could do it this way, or oh, if I see this, I'll try that. <laughs> and this kind of throws those away, right? This like, one puts everything on its head. Good luck with an Ivan exploit on this one. Yeah, <laughs> if you can come up with it, go for it. But yeah, this one is gonna be very interesting. It's very much like a you know, it looks it reminds me just like a corporate logo. I'm sure there's companies out there who have used this. Yeah, uh, but it's essentially you know, it's essentially just a cube, uh, but a cube with some very interesting geometry in the middle. All right, we see my Sebastian kids, my drawing first blood, this. creating that first shape there on the left. Now the question is, what is he going to do with that first shape? How is he going to utilize that shape? And mm -hmm. is he going to build out from there? And Gray on the right, taking the exact same approach, ending up creating that extrusion there, the exact same extrusion. Now the question is, what are they going to do with this? And who's going to be able to do it faster? And so... We see Sebastian on the left. What's he going to end up doing? Gray on the right. Looks like he's opted to jump into a second sketch. And he's going to try and use that second sketch to, to figure out what this next section of the geometry is going to look like. There we go. Yeah, I know this is... We, the kids have called this an infinity table, and they've wanted to make one for a couple of years. And I'm like, unless you can prove to me you can draw it and cut everything. Like, we're not... This is... <laughs> 
Because even when you go to put it together, you weld something in the wrong direction and you have a whole different project. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very interesting. I love I love seeing what Gray is doing here. Wow, that was a really, really interesting uh transition there from having that, you know, initial shape to having the shape he's got now. That was that was clutch. Mr. Intrusionist in the chat said Sebastian wasn't expecting this cube when he said he can solve a cube in 27 seconds. So <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Different kind of cube there. Oh, Absolutely. and Sebastian looked like he backtracked and then kind of followed right in step. Very interesting as well. Wow, this is so cool to see how these guys are kind of thinking through this thing uh, and what they're going to end up doing with it. Rambro's Workshop says, I could I have an exploit this. I could figure out a way to do this. Mm -hmm. But I really like how both of these runners are doing it. It's very interesting that, you know, they're they're both uh, kind of thinking about it the same way, uh, both kind of trying to approach this thing from a similar, you know, a similar strategy. It looks like they're kind of winding down here. Wow, that was really fast, too, how Gray was able to get that shape in place. Now, what is he going to end up doing with that shape? He's going to use the same uh, kind of layout that he, that he had initially created, it looks like, to set himself up with this next uh, region here. Yeah. Wow. Now, there's one thing, and I know you're thinking about it, too, and we're not going to say it, but there's definitely a, a crucial moment that <laughs> I'm looking for. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think just rotating your view around, too, just starts to get you, like, <laughs> a, little, a little seasick. All, a little, yeah, A little exactly. disoriented, yeah. What, what side am I looking at? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely made this thing a few different ways while I was auditing it, and I don't have any idea which one was the best or which one was the fastest. It's just... Uh, it was just, you know, I did everything from uh, uh, 3D sketching to, uh, you know, to like uh, crazy, like shelling type stuff uh, to bullying type stuff. Like I did it all as I was auditing mm -hmm. this and I, I don't have any idea which way is the best. Lots of cuts. Start with a cube and just cut Start, away. So yeah, that exactly. <laughs> that would yeah. be insane. Yeah. So Gray is really, really uh, turning up the heat here on this one, making some really impressive progress here. And it looks like he may even be coming down the home stretch. Let's see what he can do about uh, this final kind of section of the model that he's working on here. Looks like maybe he got some inadvertent relationships that he's trying to get rid of. Um, I think we've all been there with an inadvertent relationship we need to get rid of, yeah. if you know what I mean. <laughs> Life lessons from Toby. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to keep an eye on the chat. I got a feeling we might be seeing an answer coming in here. Wow, Gray really made some great progress there for sure. And we're going to keep an eye on the chat, keep an eye on the chat. And, and Gray coming in with an answer. 205.4 grams. And that is correct. And we are going to a third match, guys. And Sebastian coming in with an answer, 205.4 grams. Guys, the correct answer is 205.4 grams. What a couple of wizards we are seeing here in today's match. Wow, wow, wow. Great job to both of our runners. Total head scratcher on that model. That is not easy geometry to construct. And they both did it not only in speedy times, but very close to the same amount of time. Jim Yu coming into the chat with 100 SEK. Thank you, Jim Yu. And Sebastian and Gray, what a couple of wizards you guys are. This is yeah. so impressive to watch. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. GG in the chat says GG. I agree, GG. GG. I think that was the first one I opened today when you showed me these, and I was like, <laughs> oh man, no, I'm glad I was out last week. Yeah, this Ooh. was, I would've. <laughs> we are going up a notch. Uh-huh, yeah. Wow. Because like.